Well, I had to put another flag up here for the 4th of July, and actually, uh, I'm going to leave it up here. That's what you call the Bennington flag. It's uh, named for Bennington, Vermont, where for a battle that actually took place in New York, but the closest, uh, the closest town was Bennington, uh, Vermont. So, And that actually is not a flag that flew over the American Revolution. I think it was a 50th year commemorative flag, but... It states American Revolution more so than even a Betsy Ross. You can really clearly see with the 70, 76 and 13 stars in a different pattern. And um, it's got more white stripes instead of red stripes. So, and the canton is bigger. So, I'll probably leave it up there along with my marine light artillery. So, might as well get the message out there correctly because who knows where this is going, you know? They censor YouTube. They're going to censor everything. They want total, complete control. Like uh, animal form, basically. That's what we're, they're going to be considering us. But um, that's what I mentioned. I very likely have some... Uh, I know I got Confederate heritage, but from my mother's side, it just came out. I know I had um, my great-grandfather was the illegitimate son of Duke Albert Edward. Of course, we didn't look up that he became Edward VII later, the king, but later on, it came out that... Um, his actual father, through research by um, Lord Greg Hallett, his actual father was um, Lionel Nathan Rothschild, a yeah, Redfield guy, <laughs> which would make him my third great grandfather. And I can tell you one thing I got a little bit of his shrewdness and ambition, and uh, I do lean heavily Jewish, but. I'm not exactly in with the globalist program, I can tell you that right now. No way, no way. And I don't like them attacking any of this Confederate American stuff. Not in the least. So, I totally draw the line on that. Anyway, we're not.